Tonight, we're learning more about the fiery school bus crash last month that killed six people, including three students from Tuskegee Valley. The NTSB releasing its preliminary report, and Aubrey Buckley has the breakdown. Come on, let's get out! It's been a month since the deadly crash on I-70 just outside Columbus. The bus full of students and chaperones heading to the Ohio School Boards Association Conference where the high school band was set to perform. Tuskegee Valley, shaken, left mourning the loss of six beloved community members, three students and three chaperones, all killed. After weeks of investigating, the NTSB now releasing its preliminary report Thursday, saying traffic was backed up from an earlier crash and a mid-state system semi-truck didn't stop, crashing into a Nissan carrying the chaperones, then into the bus, causing a fire post-crash. Have you had communication? The crash causing the bus to hit a Toyota Highlander that hit another semi before spinning out as the bus ran into the back of that semi as well. Officials say the crash is still under investigation, trying to figure out what caused this tragic chain reaction and what they can do to prevent it from happening again. Last month, our team spoke with the bus driver's daughter. I followed up with her again tonight, and she says he's still in the hospital, but rehab has been growing, going great so far. Russ? Okay, Bree Buckley in the newsroom. Thank you. Of course.